layered, each in a different direction to make the shaft uniformly rigid. Heat activated resin molds the layers together. This machine called a flex tester measures how much force it takes to bend the shaft 2.5 centimeters. If the force is within a certain range, the shaft has the correct degree of stiffness for that model. The blade starts with a plastic core. In the center, there's a piece of hard foam wrapped in graphite. It absorbs the impact of the puck. Later, the core will be molded to the shaft, but for now, it's glued and clamped together. When the glue has dried, the core is covered in a graphite sock. The sock's fibers run diagonally. The fibers of subsequent layers run in other directions, building a combination of criss-cross fibers that creates uniform stiffness throughout the blade. Now the core goes into a glue applicator. This heat-activated plastic resin permeates the graphite. Once it cures, it will fortify the material. On the next two layers of graphite are strips. On one, the fibers run vertically. On the other, they run diagonally. They're stiffer because they've already had a resin application. They run through the glue applicator and go onto the core. This is how the factory built its graphite blades, whether mass-producing amateur sticks or making a few special order sticks for a professional player. At this point, retail sticks head into large-scale automated production. The professional sticks continue to be made by hand. Initially, a customized wooden mold is produced for each player's stick, and it's given an identification number to prevent mix-ups. This two-piece mold is installed on a press. The press shapes the blade to the player's precise specifications for the face, or vertical angle, and the curve. This molding process also compresses the graphite layers into a single unit, and permanently bonds the blade to the shaft. The plastic bag over the blade prevents excess resin from oozing over the press. With a router, the blade is profiled to a specific shape. Each player orders his own personal template. It can be any shape, as long as it abides by the Hockey League's regulations. Maximum curve, 19 millimeters. Maximum height, 7.6 centimeters. Maximum length, 30 centimeters. Now the blade gets a good sanding and a thorough buffing. The blades are dipped in urethane, a colorless coating that fills in tiny imperfections on the surface. Once that dries, a machine sprays silver paint at the base of the shaft. Finally, another coat of urethane to seal and protect the paint. For the retail market, this company mass produces six models of graphite hockey sticks in a right-handed and left-handed version. They all have the same blade shape but different curves. You can peel off the removable model name and write your own name on the shaft instead. It's not nearly as personalized as a made-to-order model, but at least you won't go home with somebody else's hockey stick by mistake.